Hey Luscom fans, you ever wonder how a Luscom landing gear works? After four years, I finally figured it out. We got another Luscom down here apart and we can see how this thing works. The first monoshock suspension from 1947. You know, there's your uh, oleo strut spring uh, and oil shock, single shock, right there in the center of the airplane, which gets compressed uh, right against there. The left main gear pivots right here, and as your landing gear compresses that oleo strut, this arm needs to spread out a little bit, and that's taken up by this linkage over here. The right main gear pivots way down below, and this is just a yoke that allows a little bit of movement as that landing gear goes through its arc. We'll go look at this other landing gear that's all apart, see if we can get a better idea of how that works. All right, we're in a top secret hangar location in a top secret Luscom. Uh, here's what they look like when they're all opened up. Here's the center section, and these are uh, steel mounting plates with the holes for the bottom of the shock strut. Over here is the casting for the right main gear. This is where the wing strut attaches, and on the right main gear, it pivots down here. Up here is where the yoke and the pin is. And here's the casting for the left main gear. Again, the wing strut mounts here, and the landing gear pivots up here on the left strut. So as the gear compresses, it needs to move out slightly. So let's go look at the landing gear pieces and see how that works. So here's the landing gear assembly. The shock strut solid mounted to the bottom of the airplane, but it's allowed to pivot slightly. And the top of the gear attached here, these two holes are for the wires, which triangulate the gear and make it a good strong triangle. Left gear leg pivots here, that's fixed. The right gear leg pivots down here off of this yoke and pin, so that as the landing gear is compressed, this allows that slight amount of movement for this arm to go outboard. And that's how a Luscom landing gear works. Ingenious <laughs> monoshock design from 1947. 1938. 1938, probably the original <laughs> design. Yeah. yeah. And uh, with your wires and your landing gear here, thin wall landing gear down to your wheel, you can see why it doesn't want to handle much of a inboard uh, force. It'll fold right up. Silflex gear, of course, uh, loses these struts and has a thicker wall uh, material for the landing gear leg. Luscom 8A through E-style landing gear.